welcome. Thank to Don you. Ridge. It's Georgie. like stepping into a fantasy. The house was built in 1949. And Tony and Elizabeth were married at Pickfair. And uh -huh. Mary Pickford was a matron of honor, and Buddy Rogers oh, really? was the best man. He was the first American to have a one-man show at the Louvre in 1951. Oh, yeah. Painting, sculpture, costume sets, jewelry. And they built this little house, and it's 30 by 30 feet. It's uh -huh. 900 square feet. This it's house. It's the smallest house in the whole world. And everyone says that it's, you know, the grandest house in Beverly Hills. This is the entrance hall, and it's tiny. It's a 10 by 10 foot room. And these are, you can see, these are plastic drinking glasses from Pick and Save. Oh my God. Don't you love that? There was a house next door that burned to the ground, and it caused this pattern of fire, of, of smoke on the ceiling, so Tony just shellacked it. I love and it, it. And then water <laughs> kind of ran down and made a stain on the silk, so they painted a tassel to cover it, and they painted another one just to balance it. He would really celebrate the flaws. This is the garden. Did you have a lot of amazing garden parties here? The it, opening party of this house in 1949 was called the Ball Derriere or the Bustle Ball. <laughs> and all the ladies had to wear bustles and it was great. Is there and, a jewelry room here? Well, there's a jewelry room at the, at the bank. At the but, bank. Uh, but I brought in some jewelry for you. One day well, can I go to the bank with yes, you? Yes, we're going to play. We're going to go to the bank. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Isn't that one beautiful? We should put it on you. Oh, can I try it should on? Should I put it on you? I think yes. it would be beautiful with your dress. I think so, too. Oh, and my god. But it's just so modern. It's amazing. <gasps> yeah, that's, you can keep that on for the day. Oh, this is amazing, <laughs> right? His work really inspired me as a jewelry designer. I love that. So, I mean, it just in the way that which he would it, treat materials, as yeah, you're saying, you know, exactly. there's, there's no material that's to, you know, you have to treat diamonds as if yeah. they're dust. The first necklace Tony ever made was for the Duchess of Windsor. Oh, really? Yeah, and in the book... Did she pay for it? Yeah, I have the bill, $850, and it sold at Geneva for $150,000. Oh, my god! It's a beautiful necklace. I think you might like this one. I'm into these earrings, too. Though. This one's kind of cool. Good you see, it's all earrings. lined in gold. It's morganite with, with aquamarine. That's great. It has a look. As you do, we do one of a kind, you know. These are rubies and gold. That's great. My God, we'll never get them off. Well, that's okay. Here, let's, <laughs> let's stack them up. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's stack them. And this one is small. These were very irritated oysters that made this, these pearls. <laughs> the best think? thing in the book, I just want you to look, is there's the first set that he ever made, uh-oh, for the films was made for the Goldwyn Follies. But I rented the video, I couldn't find that to save my soul, but I'm gonna rent it again. I have to say that Tony's work has, since I was a child, been such a huge influence on me. I mean, growing up with family in the film business, Tony Duquette was a name that I knew from being a child and also really drawn to. Mm -hmm.